and the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of ICT, Postal and Courier Services to come up front as we get ready to confer the awards to the winners this evening. We also like to invite the Director of Policy and E-Governance, Ms. Georgina Chingonzo, who is going to be coordinating proceedings of conferring the awards. I was telling the minister that, you know, when I, want, when I grow up, I want to match clothes like he's doing with his wife today. Les Agarwa Krim de la Krim. Beautiful, looking, wonderful. Right. We are ready to make the announcements. Engineer <coughs> Kupishora, please come up front. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to ask the runners up and the winners to please make their way to this side of the stage. We'd also like to highlight that it's very important for you to give the photographers just a great smile and give them a few minutes to take it. Because we're going to be putting it into the supplement through our media partners, Alpha Media Holdings, and um, we're also going to be uh, putting it onto the ministry's website, ictministry.co.gov.zw. So please, Minister and Engineer Kandishara, please break big smiles for us this evening. The first award that uh, we will be announcing is the Top ICT Educator of the Year, Institute or Individual. The runner-up, ladies and gentlemen, is the... Sorry, just let's give them a minute. Oh, now I can see you. I've been standing behind the podium all this time. Hello! How are you? The runner-up for the top ICT educator of the year, institute or individual, is the Computer Society of Zimbabwe. Dr. Habanyewi coming to collect. Chilimbawi Fundo. to instill application development into its students. Forming strategic alliances with primary and high schools in Mashonal and West Province, the institution hosts various functions and invites students from these schools to participate and partake in activities. This year, the educator has managed to do knowledge transfer with more than 30 schools in Mashonal and West Province. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome this year's top ICT educator of the year. Can you guess? Can you all guess? Chinoy University of Technology. ICT Rural School of the Year, the runner-up, Mazoe High School.
Ladies and gentlemen, our citation for the winner. The top ICT Raw School of the Year has two computer labs and also internet facilities, facilities which are available all the time. They also have an electronic registration system for students which helps in tracking down of enrollment and makes it easy for updating fees issues and also includes a database for student records. This school is located in Menezi. It has over a 90% ICT literacy level for its student and 95% for its teachers. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome this year's top ICT Rural School of the Year, Mwenezi Government High School. Innovator of the Year, aged 35 years and below. The runner-up, Bright Gubochuma for Zim Ticket. Bright Gubochuma, Zim Ticket. Runner-up, the top ICT Innovator of the Year, aged 35 and below. Congratulations, Brian.
the young men we honor today, ladies and gentlemen, was the first to, to, to develop the USSD-based Android app for mobile money services. This year's winning innovation leverage is a free technology to provide a valuable service to the end users. USSD technology offers real-time communication between clients and back-end servers. His vision is to enable this concept to replace traditional apps by offering convenient, cheaper, and more intuitive apps that add value to both companies and customers. Please welcome to the stage for the top ICT innovator of the year, Mr. Gideon Moyo for the USSD-based Android app for mobile money services. Mr. Gideon Moyo. Dressed in typical Silicon Valley style. Ladies and gentlemen, top young woman ICT innovator of the year, 35 years and below. Our runner up for this category is Marcelo Mochena. For order now. is the community website and social media presence platform that was created to engage, engage audiences in topical issues for Zimbabweans by Zimbabweans. The platform is fast, more web-friendly platform that fits on any device. Its content is optimized so as not to take a lot of data from someone browsing on their phone. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome this year's top young female innovator of the year, Ms. Kuda Sagwete. Wonderful. Women doing great things in ICT. For the top ICT journalist of the year, the runner-up, Byron Adonis Ntigwende. Byron Adonis Ntigwende, runner-up for top ICT journalist of the year. It's coming up. This year's winner is the founder and editor-in-chief of Zimbabwe's fastest growing technology magazine, where they tackle various technological issues through technology news, technology reviews, critical analysis, do-it-yourself tips, and interestingly has complemented this with exclusive technology video insights via their YouTube channel. Today he runs a weekly technology page in the Herald and another weekly technology column in Newsday, as he passionately disseminates ICTs to the Zimbabweans and international reader. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Tonirai Rodeo Utsito of Technoman.
top ITC public sector website of the year. ICT. Let's say ICT. People are whispering here behind me saying ICT. <laughs> yeah. ICT. Um, the runner-up is Zimbabwe Tourism Authority for their website www.zimbabwetourism.net. Thank you. 